I moved again. So let's move to text objects in Vim. You probably know some of them like these, but there are some that are missing, or at least I think so. And I installed a couple of plugins to make up for that. So currently you see all the text objects that I have. Some of them are built in, some of them are not. So I'm gonna go and show off at least most of them, if not every single one of them. So here we have a sentence, or rather three sentences. If you didn't know, hold on, first of all, thank you to GKCN2 for suggesting toggling screencast when I'm showing off something in Vim. Because yes, indeed, it's going to be easier to follow. So, if you didn't know, you can go between sentences using the opening and closing normal brackets. That's really quite nice when you're walking, working with text, using Vim to write something like a book even, seems like a very good idea. So it's useful for that. But did you know that there is actually a sentence text object? So let's delete this current sentence. I can D I S. As you can see, it left the white space on still. We can do D A S to delete the whole sentence with the white space as well. That's quite nice. Next, we have indent. Now, this is a plugin that I installed. Let's look at how we do that. Yeah, essentially, you just plug this. Yeah, Vim indent object. Uh, I leave the link to my dot files in the description so you can look there to not have to transcribe from the screen. So I was trying to look for a good example of why that's useful. Trust me, it's useful. Couldn't find a good example though. Well, first of all, if you're using Python, where there is no brackets because I'm using HKV2 and it uses brackets for lines that are more than one line. So I can just do VI capital B and I selected everything uh, in the brackets. But what if I wanted to? select everything or operate on everything in the in the current indent level. Well now I can VII and here I am selected everything in this indentation level. Once again usually you would just use something along the lines of this VI lowercase b selects those uh, or just that. That also works. But if you're using Python, once again, you won't have brackets most of the time. So being able to operate on an indent object is very nice. I wish I could find a good example, but essentially trust me it's useful <laughs> is all I have for now. Okay, next we have paragraph. This is one of those text objects that blew my mind because VIP and here I go. I selected the whole paragraph. Now what is a paragraph in Vim? It's essentially something mm, separated by blank lines. So there is a blank line here and here. So this is considered a paragraph. So if we do this and try to do a VIP, huh? oh, well, yeah, 
we do VIP and it doesn't select the whole block, which is what I want to do. And here it is actually a good example of uh, the indent object. Although once again, I could do this. But yeah, with uh, the paragraph text object, we have to take account of whether there are blank lines in between or not. So you'll kind of run into writing your code without any blank lines in between. And um, I think here I have a good example of that messing stuff up. Why is it still selected? I don't get it. Okay, so see how I leave blank lines? This is so I can just use the uh, paragraph object without selecting everything else here as well. So it's really useful, but can make you almost have to format stuff in a different way. Now, line. Really often, I come into the situation where I want this line to be blank. I don't want DD, I still want that line to exist, just empty. I don't want to replace it with anything, no, I just want, I want it to be empty. But there's not really a way to operate on a line, so you can't delete a line. You can only delete a line with the new line character, so meaning this. With the line text object, now I can. It's just a sim simple DIL, which is amazing. Usually, well, you could be anywhere on the line. You would do caret or zero, I guess, and then capital D, which works, but I don't like it. Now I can just do DIL, boom, blank line. Amazing in my opinion. Entire file. So this file, well, it's called output, and usually uh, a bunch of logs appear here. Other than that, it's a file that I can use for random information to quickly type in or anything of that nature. So quite often I'll want to delete everything in the file and either start typing again or just leave it empty. Before, what I would have to do is GG, uh, capital V, and then capital G, and then D. That's way too much, which is why I made the control A hotkey do that same thing. Because I'm used to control A selecting everything and not like a couple of characters for something this simple. Now I don't have to. I have the E entire text object, which operates on the whole file. So die, which is really epic, kills the file essentially, leaving nothing in there. Or CIE uh, leaves you in insert mode. This is so useful because say this file is actually useful. Like, let's go to shows my file. So say I want to send everything in this file to someone. So I would access the um, the system clipboard register and then do what? I would have to select it or first I would have to select it with GG capital V capital G and then yank it Blah. I don't want to do that so I can just yank inside entire boom now all of that is in my system clipboard so nice okay these already shown off so if you are in some sort of brackets so I'm here currently uh, I can delete inside brackets leaving that uh, DA brackets to delete the brackets themselves as well. Uh, 
same thing goes for capital B to select everything inside of curly brackets and them as well. Uh, and for blocky, I guess, brackets, you just type that. For these, you can also type the characters of the brackets, but I just like uh, B and capital B more. M I shown off in one of my previous videos. So it's not a default text object, it's one that I made. And C is something that I personally don't use, but C being really useful. So we have this HTML file, and we want to replace document into something else. Well, since it's one word, you would just do C inside word. But what if it's actually a lot more? How do you tar target this? I personally don't really know. Well, there's very much a thing for that inside of tag. See inside T, here I am. I can change everything inside of that tag. And I'm pretty sure CAT works as well. As you can see, it deleted the tags themselves too. If you use the surround plugin, this kind of behavior with uh, tags and everything that surround stuff is even more elaborated on so yeah, that's about it. Let's go to, so for the entire, meaning whole file and line, you plug them and the base plugin. I think it's required. So you plug this, plug that, or that. This doesn't depend on this. And I think that's about it. As far as I remember, you don't really need to set anything up. You just install the plugins uh, and here you go. So if you find this video useful, leave a like, type something in the comments and definitely subscribe. I'm going to be recording a lot more Vim videos. So if you're interested, don't miss out by subscribing. Goodbye.